Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I figured we would go over week two's challenge for um, Roxy Creations. So I know I just did uh, week one yesterday, but I'm a little behind in like finding and starting the challenge. So I figured I would go ahead and do week two back to back. So I'm going to go ahead and start the timer here. And I have a bunch of papers to use because week two is painty papers. It's making tags with painty papers. And I was like, oh God, I don't really do mixed media. But I remembered that I had done, um, I had done jelly plating. And I had some of the papers left over and I will go over how I got some, how I got the dark colors, um, in another video, but, uh, that was actually a happy accident. Um, but I'm going to grab a couple pages here and let's see. I really like this one. I really like that. And I love this one. Can y'all see that? See the bird? There's another one with the bird. Bird, bird's the way. I don't know if you can see the owl here. Owl. All right. Um, I like that one too. And we're going to have to back these, obviously, because they're just regular old papers. I like the teal in here, the turquoise, rather. Oh, there's another one with the turquoise. All right. So that should be enough. I mean, this is a full page. So that's two three, four, and five. We may not actually get to that. Let's do two purple, two blue, or green, or whatever. All right. So I actually have a bunch of things like this in my little basket right beside me. And I'll go over more of that later in another video. So let me grab some papers to... Point. cover this stuff with. So I can do a couple different things. I could just do paper or I could do cardstock. I might have cardstock. I have index cards. Does that count? There's more book page. You could double up on the book page. Uh, library cards. Oh, those would be fun. Do some library cards. I, I think those will make some fun tags. All right, so let's just grab a couple here. We'll just grab four. Be ambitious, hopefully. All right, so let's see. Where do we want to pull? I want to pull right here. I want all of this turquoise right here. I want to pull that. So, oh, that's pretty. And I'm going to sew around these. I'm not going to do this on camera, but I am going to sew around these. So I'm going to use a tape gun for adhering this to, oh wait, let go. My, and it's not going anywhere. Like it's still attached. Okay. All right, you could rip it, I think. Maybe. All right, we're not going to rip it because that's, oh, you know what? It's the process on how I got this. It's not going to let me rip it. All right, so let's do this one. And I'm not necessarily worried about going all the way to the edge. Um, just because, like I said, I am going to sew this as well. And I don't know about you guys, but my sewing machine does not like double-sided tape at all. Like not even close, not even a little. Okay. 
Okay, so I've got my digs here. We can probably do. Oh, why did I do that? Crap. We can probably do. There we go. Like this one and this one. Probably. Maybe. Possibly. And I've had people ask me before where I got this tape gun. And I got it from Tape, De tape Depot. And it's the tapedepot.com. T H E the the tapedepot.com. Anyway, um, I can probably do more, but. We're going to go with just two because we're decorating these from start to finish. But I like the library card because it's a nice good size to start with, you know, until you trim it down because you're not paying attention to what you're doing and you make it smaller. And these are just coffee dyed library cards. You can get them from all over the place. You can just do a Google search or you could do a Google search, but you could just do an Etsy search for coffee dyed papers. Um, my favorite by far, bar none, my favorite place to get coffee dyed, just plain regular coffee dyed materials is from Vintage Polka Dot. Emily has got just such amazing, amazing, amazing coffee dyeing stuff. All right, so we didn't use these. I'm going to set these aside back in my basket. They go. Because they're fairly decent sized scraps. I mean, they're still scraps technically, but they're pretty big sizes. I could do a lot with that. Now, these two I might leave in the scrap bucket. Because those are pretty small scraps. So how did you guys like the um, using up the scrap idea series thing, whatever? I don't know if it's going to be like a a, um, a series like or more of a, okay, today we're going to use scraps type of thing. You know, like how a lot of people have like scrappy days. Miss Gail has scrappy Saturday. You know, stuff like that. I think that'll be more along the line of what I do. Not necessarily, hey, here's another idea of how to use your scraps. Because, I mean, I might start out like that, but eventually it's just going to turn into, okay, today is scrap day. I don't know what day I want to do, though. I don't know. All right, so... And I have a couple different ways of making these into tags. And, wait. So we're gonna, this is the back where you can write on. We're gonna be playing with the painty sides today. This side, okay? Now remember, each one of these is gonna get sewn around. Um, so I've got this thing here which gives me the angle of the tag, see, like that. And there's a small angle and a large angle. This one happens to be the large angle, okay? Then I've got this guy here, which is really cool. I found this on eBay a couple years ago. And um, it was... Uh, it was about $20 and I'm just going to center this because it is a little bit bigger than two inches. going to punch and then I'm going to trim up the sides here. All right. Blink. So that's one. I'll just put it over there. 
And then, of course, there is the good tried and true snip the corners. And flip it over and snip the corners again. Okay. And so I actually really do like using this guy here. So I'm going to use this one again. Um, this is the large angle. I'll show you the small angle, what that looks like. Or not. I would love to show you the small angle. Hmm. Something is not copacetic here. Why are you not working? Hmm. I don't know. Something is wrong with that. I can only use the, the wide one. But that's okay because, I mean, I like that one better. But something's wrong and I can't get my paper to go back there. I might have to get another one. I don't know. Something's wrong with that. Oh, it just popped it up. Oh, it was stuck. That's what it was. Here, I'll show you on this one. All right, so there is this one here, and um, then this is the difference. Can you see that? See the difference there? Like, it's a super tiny thing. It's pretty good for, like, little itty-bitty things. That is really weird. I don't know why it's, like, jamming up like that. I'm going to have to contact We Are Memory Keepers. Anyway, now that I've spent 15 minutes playing with that thing. All right. So, um, you can punch holes a couple different ways. I'm going to go ahead and use this guy here. This one doesn't need a hole because it already has one. It's part of the punch. You can also do like a super micro punch. I'm going to do this one and let's go with, um, we'll go with this color. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do another one. Boop. We're kind of going to do like a streamline with this anyway. Uh, so it's evening time and my kids are starting to come home, as you can see, I'm sure. All right. Just wanted to make sure that was the right size. Stick that in there. And then... Squish. And that's it. Voila. I'm going to wait to do these, though, actually. Um, I'm going to put them right here so I don't lose them. And I'm going to decorate first. We're done with the... No, we're not. We're just going to leave that there. Go over there. Okay. So, first one's first. We'll do this one. Since... Oi. Oh my gosh, this thing, this thing is really full. All right, so I'm just going to pull some stuff out and hopefully there will be stuff in here that I can play with. Oh, there is all kinds of stuff in here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, let's not lose those. All right, so this one here is... What did I just throw? Oh my gosh, I just threw something. This is actually really pretty because this has got like a metallic-y shine to it. That's really pretty. I like that. Let's use that here. Assuming we can get them through the hole.
Alright. There we go. It's really pretty. So normally I don't do that part first, but hey, it works. Okay, let's go with your pretty. Nope, I have no idea what I'm doing at the moment. Other than putting that back away. Because that is big and in my way. Alright. So, I'm going to put that there. That's kind of cool. Not sure what you look like, but we'll figure it out. Yep. And it is really cool to like challenge to use stuff that you don't use all the time because I will be the first one to admit that I, I forgot about these painty papers to be honest with you because I does anybody do that okay so you find something on the internet whether it's YouTube or you know someone has something on Facebook and you're like oh that's so pretty you go out you buy it and you use it once and you never touch it again anybody or is that just me is that just me I, I think that's just me but yeah that's what I did with the um that's what I did with the jelly plate I was like "Ooh, so pretty I played with it I played with it I'm like I'm done with it and that was it yeah that was that was it all right and I have got these laces from a number of different places. I get my laces from all over the place. People ask me all the time, where do you get your laces? I'm like, I'm not telling you that. <laughs> but I do get my laces from all over the place. Uh, if you're ever interested in something that I, you see me using, just shoot, go over to my shop and see if it's there. Because chances are it's probably there or something very similar to it is there. Um, actually I could probably use that come back and use that on something. All right. But I do get my laces and appliques from all over the place. I do not, contrary to popular belief, get my laces all from one location. I am a seller, so I shop the entire interwebs the whole thing oh I like that that's cool let's put you there we're just layering this bad boy up oh I got something on my eyeball no oh we could put a button there let's put a button there I love buttons like this was full nope I don't even think you can see it, how not full it is. Come here, I just saw you. Look at that, isn't that cool? I like that. Um, <laughs> I like that, put it back. <laughs> Looking for something just a little bit lighter. How about that one? Ooh, that one's nice, I like that. Blink, blink. But yeah, so I like this this challenge because like I said, it it kind of forces you into things that you've forgotten about, i.e. the painty papers, or kind of gets you thinking, gets your creative juices going. If you've been in a funk lately, like that's how that's how I got out of my funk a couple of years ago was I did one of these crazy challenges and poof, there you go. I ended up, you know, getting back in the swing of things and yeah. 
That's really cool. I like this one. I really, really like the blue and the green in this. All right, so that's one. Well, that, where's my other decks? Wow, okay. I buried them. Okay, let's go with, ooh, what are you? Oh, you're sewn. You are sewn, sewn, okay. All right, well, yeah, we're gonna do it this way then, huh? Ooh, yeah. So it's a little darker, but I kind of like it. Kind of like it. All right, put a little dark in the background here. I need to get more Fabri-Tac. I think I only have like a bottle and a half left, which you might think is a lot, but it's really not. It goes so fast. Fabri-Tac is like my go-to glue. Like I know a lot of people use... Um, like Turbo Tacky. Turbo Tacky is a real popular one for like the go-to glue. Um, let's see. What is some other ones? Um, Art Glitter Glue is another one that's like a popular go-to. Um, I really want to use this. It's not working out. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. Uh, Mod Podge. Mod Podge is a go-to, for, especially for a lot of, um, like, beginners. If you have one glue, Mod Podge is a great one glue to have because it does so much stuff. And it's really not a bad glue. It's really not. All right, so let's try this again. Are you still not going to work? Yeah, you're still not going to work. Okay, next. What about you? Are you going to work? Oh, you're kind of cool. Actually, I like that. Let's go with... We're going to go snip, snip, snip here. Bloop, 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 bloop. And so with my tags, I normally don't worry too much about over-embellishing them because tags very rarely like sit inside the journal like you'll use them or play with them or whatever but they'll use them to decorate the journals but they can be removed and that's the glory of tags they can be moved and they can go all over the place because they're awesome So that's that's pretty cool. Okay. Um and I'm just honestly I am just using a bunch of laces here. Ooh, you are so soft and so pretty. Can I just use you? I just want to use you. It's like I'm fussy cutting. The flower out of lace. Actually, it's a mesh, but it is not at all like tool. Tool is like really stiff compared to this stuff. Whatever this stuff is, oh, it is awesome. Okay, that's cool. All right, so let's see. Where can I glue this down at? And glue a little bit here because it'll get sewn around. So, it's not too, too necessary up top. This side is, but I've got a couple layers of Fabri-Tac here that I'm kind of smushing it down into. So, I missed this whole side right here. So, I'm going to do a little swipey swipe here. And voila. Oh, that's really cool. I like that one too. 
I like how you can still see a little bit of that darkness popping through. Okay, so that's another one. Hey, we might actually get more done. All right, let's see. I just had a big old chunk of this guy. Let's use you. Bloop. All right, so I'm probably going to cheat here just a smidge because I'm going to lay down a couple layers of double-sided tape here. And we're going to put this lace right on top of it. Oy. Okay, all righty. Come here. Stay. Okay, where'd you go? There you are. All right. That's pretty cool. All right, and then, oh, we can do it that way. We can go upside down with it. Ooh, or we could do it that way. No, because I don't want to cover up the, because we'll trim this up a little bit. Let's go off the tag a little. And see, this is why I knew the double-sided tape would be fine, because I was going to layer it up with Fabri-Tac. But also, we're sewing around them, so there's that aspect, too. So you just kind of basically want to tack it down. What are you doing here? Can you all see that? That's a jump ring. It's just going in the trash, because I am not going to try to save a single jump ring when my beads are not out right now. My beads are actually semi, semi put away. Um, so what I've been doing for the past two days is organizing. I have found some stuff that I'm like, what? I had no idea. I got rid of like, I had so much fabric and just like crazy fabric. Um, I had a... I had found this at one point in time I was going to Goodwill because we have a, um, an outlet Goodwill here, which is basically, if you don't know what that is, you, um, you buy things by the pound. So it's, um, cloth is by the pound books are by the pound and, you know, so on and so forth. But, you know, ever since this thingamabob Bob happened, you know, I hadn't really been out there, you know, doing much because, well, I can't. I'm not allowed. Well, it's not that I'm not allowed. Wayne's not allowed. And I guess I'm like, you know, well, if he can't go, I shouldn't go either. Um, but anyway, so I found a bunch of clothes way back when. And the purpose of me getting them was so I could tear them up. And I did that once. Because I was like, nope, mm -mm, not doing this again. Because I don't have a fabric table. I just have my desk and scissors. And I have a yardstick. Does that count? Uh, yeah, and that's, a, that's about it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so I'm just kind of lining this with different laces if you haven't figured that out yet. Because I have no idea what I'm doing with this thing. <laughs> oh gosh. So anyway, um I found this uh, really, really soft, really pretty floral jacket, and it was a size large, 
And, you know, back then when I was buying clothes, I was not thinking about, oh, that'd be so pretty. I'd wear that. Because mm -mm, I couldn't wear any of that stuff. Not unless I was finding like two and three X, which I wasn't. So I didn't think nothing of it. And I just, you know, moved along, whatever. Well, I ran into it again because while well, I was cleaning stuff up, and that's what happens when you clean stuff up. You're like, ooh, where did that come from? Yeah, mm -hmm, that was me. Um, so, yeah. Oh, my finger. So, anyway, I was like, huh, I wonder. I put it on. It's like, whoa, it fit. Um, and so, I wore it all day yesterday. Just because it could. While I was sitting there reorganizing my storage closet. And for those of you who don't know, my storage closet is our guest bathroom and it is massively huge. Like to tell you that it's a guest bathroom is a, com it's a complete understatement. It, the thing is huge. Like I have a dresser in there. I have a dresser and a bookshelf in there because I moved the bookshelf that was in my hallway into my storage closet. And then, um, Ooh, we could put you in the corner. That'll be fun. Anyway, um, so I moved the bookshelf into the storage closet and I completely emptied the storage closet completely. Like there's nothing in there except for the dresser. And then I moved the bookshelf into the closet. Uh, it's a bathroom, but I moved it into the storage closet. And um, when I did that, I started um cleaning off everything that was on top of the dresser because there was a bunch of random stuff all over the dresser and so i started cleaning off the dresser and um so i had gone to the dollar tree earlier yesterday morning which i'll share that with you guys tomorrow um but i had went to the dollar tree and i found some um some storage baskets I mean, not that different than these guys here, um, but they were pink and I was like, oh, I hadn't seen pink before. And, you know, it was in my storage closet. So I was like, meh, whatever. And so I got a couple of them and I also found some really neat, I can't show you guys cause I've already used them, but I found some really neat, um, like clear wide baskets. And I was like, Ooh, those will be cool. I wasn't sure what I was going to use them for, for a while. But I did end up figuring it out. I use them right now for my jewelry. That is what I'm using them for at the moment. And uh, that's nice. I don't know that I want to cover it all the way up, though. That's the problem. Where's the end of this thing? Oh, my gosh. Come here, end. And I only just barely emptied that jar. All right, so let's take some from this side here. And then I'll do something to kind of tie it in. Because I feel like it needs a little bit. I'm not sure what. I'm not real sure how I'm functioning at the moment either because I have stuff everywhere. So anyway, um, I get my extra baskets in the closet and whatnot. I empty out my dresser completely. And um, I had doilies in, in my office as well as my storage closet. So I consolidated and moved it into just like everything now that is on my shop is now in the storage closet, everything. And on top of that, I also now have more room because it's all organized better. Um, I have more room to actually put more things on my shop. So I'm really, really, really excited for that. Um, oh, there's black. Ooh, what fun would that be to add just a smidge of black? Ooh, I'll have to try that on the next one. 
All right. Um, let's see. That's kind of cool. And then we could add like a little sentiment right there. Okay. I'm going to have to find some sentiments. I did not print any off. I, knew I was going to, and then I got to organizing, and I only am just now sitting down for the first time in two days. Like, to craft. And I say that like that because I've actually been sitting at my desk all day long. But I've been doing accounting all day long. So that was fun. But, hey, I learned Excel, created a spreadsheet, and, uh, yeah, that's fun. All right, let's see. What do we got over here? All right, we've got some stickers. Ooh, that'll be fun. We've, oh, a butterfly. Oh, yes. Let's do a butterfly. All right, I seriously... Oh, I did actually get something new because this is, you know, nice in theory, but these little plasticky bags, they only last for so long and it's a really pretty book, but again, it only lasts for so long. So let me grab my brush that I'm going to throw my ink here. We're going to ink our little butterfly just a little. And then and then we're going to art glitter glue him, her, it to our lace. All right, what do we want you? All right, you're in the way. Go over there. Do we want it like that? No, I actually kind of feel like I like it on this side for whatever reason. I think I just like it facing that way as I think what it is. I'm going to put it on the left side. That is probably way too much glue. But we're just going to set it down and leave it alone. I'm done dead it. Um, but see this right here is why it is really good to wait to punch your hole until after you decorate. Cause if you punch your hole and then decorate you, well, you just covered up your hole. So let's put that there and find our next tag. Ooh, that'll be nice. This one's got more green than brown. This one's got more brown than green. I actually like this one better. Nope. All right, let's see. Ooh, fabric. Bloop. Bloop. All right. Let's let's bloop you over there too. Bloop. Bloop. And bloop bloop. Ooh, can we add black to you? There is black back here right there that's pretty cool all right let's put you this way though all right i'm gonna cut it here make it a little more manageable it's, i'm still gonna need to trim it but it'll be a lot better e. Which way? What? I think it was that way. Was it that way or was it this way? Oh my gosh, I don't remember. All right, well, we're just going to do it this way. And then...
Put you there. And but you let go of my finger. Let go of my nails. Uh brown. Put you there. Alright, now what? Alright, um Ooh, I like that better. Come here. Stay. Stay. Alright. Mm -hmm. Wait. Yeah. All right. Oops. Leave that part hanging off. Come here. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, I like that a lot better. Okay. Um. All right. Think, think, think. It's in here. Hmm. There's a yellow. I kind of like how it kind of brings itself to fruition of what it's going to be as you're playing with it you know like it seems to be very naturistic with this one oh my gosh I have glue everywhere I like that mm, I think that might be too dark Ooh, that's kind of cool that's a dark and a light come out you Oh, it was a dark and a light because it was put together like that. <laughs> Although, it doesn't look bad. I like that one better, though. That's too big. That's too big. Bloop. That's still too big. I thought maybe if I flipped it over, it'd be... Be copacetic. Oh, that one's good though. That one's not as dark. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Let's put you back over here. And we'll put you right there. We'll put you. Right there. Come here. There you go. And then we'll pick up the whole shebang. Oh, some of the hot glue went underneath. Okay, fine. We'll use hot glue. I wasn't going to, but I mean, I'm not going to argue with it. Whee! Okay, we're done with you. And now huh, we have a minute left okay so take our all right we're gonna move this stuff out the way because that is going to go off before we're done all right we're gonna punch here and we're gonna punch actually let's go this way might be better. Just so I can see it. 
Ooh, but it's not nearly that bad. Bloop. And then there. Oh, that's it. Okay. And then Oi. Take our little Wiki here. Alright, stop. And then well, we got one done. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oi. Alright, there's one. And Oi. there's one. And And you can get these little Brad doohickeys from Amazon. They have all kinds of different ones. If you're looking for a certain shape or, you know, whatever, just search in the Amazon box. Gosh, you can find so much stuff in Amazon. Um, didn't I have a, uh, I thought I had, uh, a button sitting around somewhere. Anyway guess not. All right, so with this one here, I'm actually going to grab some, sorry, not sorry, seam binding. And, ooh, that'll be really pretty. Oh, that does not show up the right color. <laughs> All right, we'll do that one. And... Look at you, almost a perfect match. That one's better. What? All right, we'll use that one for both of those because we've got that pretty pink on the other one too. There we go. All right, so let's use this one for this one. And just kind of going to guesstimate here. Mm -hmm. I probably should have like something to poke this through. Um, ooh, I know. There we go. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Oh. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Okay. So that one's done. Put you over there. And then we're going to do the same one for both of these ladies because they're pretty. Pretty and pink. All right. Um, let's see. You're going gonna to go through the hole. Pretty, pretty, please. With sugars and cherries on top. <laughs> All right, and then, yeah, that'll be good. Okay. Voila. Okay. And then this one here, same thing. Come here. Come here, you.
Oh, also, if you search for these um, on Amazon, make sure you don't search for brads because those are something very different. I didn't know that when I was first starting out. Um, I was very disappointed when I got a box of brads and I was like, what am I supposed to do with these? Because <sighs> at the time I had no idea what to do with them. Now they're really cool. I like playing with brads. All right. So we got four done, although it was past 45 minutes, but that's all right. That's all right. You know. I think the point is to have fun. I think the point is to have fun with your challenge. Uh, do something to challenge your brain and have fun with the process, man. It's a lot of fun. And now I'm going to figure out how to get all of this um, back into this. I think, <laughs> I think I am going to not necessarily be able to do this. I don't know, but uh, it might work. Oh, look at that. And that's okay if it's all scrunchy and whatnot, because that's the glory of scraps, is they're all kind of squished together anyway. At least I kind of like them like that, you know? I mean, I have seam binding that's on the spool, and I use the crinkled stuff more than anything. Heck yeah, man. Oh, I forgot one. Go in there. It's like closing the door and hoping nothing falls out. That's what it feels like. All right, so we have that one here. And then um, this one here, this one here, and this one here. So yeah, um, in tomorrow's video, I'll probably go over how I got this color. Um, not the paint, not the paint, the, the aged color. And I'll show you guys a really, really cool trick with that. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had fun. Challenge yourself. Try something new. I think that's the whole point of these challenges is just to get your creative juices going. So thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, bye guys.